poverty, welfare, and the government's safety net. Ever since LBJ's war on poverty, politicians on both sides of the aisle have introduced legislation aimed at reforming welfare and reducing poverty. And there is one stereotype that has stuck, that the majority of the people on welfare are minorities, namely African Americans and Hispanics. The numbers, however, prove that the reality is very different. According to a new study from the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, the people benefiting the most from welfare programs are working class whites. The latest numbers are from 2014. They found 6.2 million working class whites getting government assistance and tax credits. Compare that to 2.8 million blacks and 2.4 million Hispanics. Now, one author of the study points out federal assistance is very important to minorities because of higher poverty rates and barriers that can lead to lower earnings. But as the numbers point out, it's also very important to whites. It's also not the big cities that are draining the government accounts. Middle America is getting a big helping hand, specifically states like Wisconsin, Iowa, and Ohio. In the end, whether it's lawmakers on the stump or people on your social media feed using commonly held stereotypes about welfare and minorities, remember to look at the real numbers before making a claim you can't back up. For Viewer, I'm Nick Cardona.